Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and some of you had expressed interest in wanting to know a little bit more about my original artwork. And I've done a Veda Day vlog actually last April where I talked about some of my original paintings. But the thing is, I'm getting ready to move, like to move into a house. We live in an apartment, small little place here. But we're looking to upgrade and get into a house, and I need to move some of this stuff because honestly, I don't want to move it, and it would just be therapeutic for me to get rid of it and move on past this old artwork. But I wanted to show it to you guys and see if anyone out there at all was interested and wanted it or wanted maybe to make a print or something. So the first thing, I'm going to kind of do these in chronological order also, like the order of which I created them, because they kind of all tell a little bit of a story. Um, so the first one I'm actually going to be talking about is this little piece right here uh, with all the weird creepy eyeballs and weird stuff on there. Now this piece, this is actually like a really, really personal piece for me. Um, I made it when I was in really, like, I was in a bad situation. I was, like, not good. Um, I had been living with a roommate. One of the room, like, two roommates. One of the roommates, had, like, we are in a house. Three dudes sharing a house. One of the guys left. He just up and left. And then I couldn't afford to keep paying for his share because everything was in my name. Uh, and the other roommate couldn't afford to pay more. So I was basically just sucking it up for a couple months. And it left me broke. I got to the point where I was like, I, I have to go somewhere. I can't, I can't afford this anymore. I can't live anywhere. And luckily, uh, someone that I worked with, I work in a pharmacy. One of the pharmacists I work with, uh, she said, hey, if you need to, come live at our house for a couple months while you get things back in order and can get your own place. So I was like, you know, it's a really humbling thing to do that because here I was like 25 or something like that. It, or I, I might have been, been younger. I might have been like 22. But either way, I was young. And I was like, crap, you know, like, I'm gonna have to go live with someone, this is, this is not good, this is just a bad situation for me to be in, where I'm like this. And so I had no money, I had, I didn't go anywhere, I just like went to work, went to their house, sat and I was trying to save money to move out, to go somewhere else. So like, big thank you to Rose, who let me live with her for a little while, that was super helpful. But while I was there, I had nothing to do, I had like paper and I had a pen, and I also had like these loans I was trying to pay off, and it was just, it was terrible, it was just awful. So my biggest problem then was money. It was all about money. My whole world revolved around money and my lack of having money. So I was like, one day I was just sitting there at night. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit and sketch for a little bit. So I put down a piece of just printer paper, you know, eight and a half by 11 printer paper. And I just reached into my pockets, like, see, what can I draw? I haven't drawn in like six years at this point. Like, it, you know, since high school, I hadn't done any art. So I decided to just, you know, I reached, I had a couple coins. I had a quarter. I had like one of each coin, a quarter, a nickel, a dime, I think a penny on there too. And basically what I did, I just kind of threw them on the page and I embossed them, you know, like where you take a pencil and you just like rub over the thing. And I did that and actually these little circles that are on here, and you guys will be able to see a better close up of it, but these little circles are actually pencil embossed versions of these coins. And that's kind of where I started. I was like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. So I was like, what else can I have like with money is my biggest problem. I had a $5 bill. So I was staring really closely at Abraham Lincoln's eye. And in fact, I put that right up here. If you look close at a $5 bill, right at his eye, um, this is the same one on there. I just drew a really, really small version of it. So there it is right there. Now the original, unfortunately, doesn't have these little black ink marks. Those happened later during some kind of, I don't know what happened, but it ruined it. So either way, in keeping with the whole theme of money, I started to just add more little bits and pieces of stuff that I saw on $1 bills, on $5 bills, because really all I had. So if you kind of turn it sideways, you can see that there's a one, like the emblem from a one's over here. There's the, uh, you know, the all-seeing eye, the pyramid on the back of the $1 bill. I actually turned those coins, linked them together, made that kind of my own version of that all-seeing eye. It also didn't help that at the same time I had just seen, uh, what was it, National Treasure? And I got really into learning about Freemasons and the Illuminati and all these weird secret societies. So I was like doing a lot of research on that kind of stuff. So I had nothing better to do. I was like, eh. I was kind of like bummed out. It was winter. There was nowhere to go. Um, so I was like getting into all that like Freemason stuff. And I was like, look at all these symbols on the back of the dollar bill. So I just started like drawing all these weird little pieces. And I mean, this is from the back of a dollar bill. I can show you guys on the dollar where it's from. Um, and just, you know, all these little intricate things. I put one of the olive leaves kind of turn that sideways again, one of the olive leaves from a dollar bill. And it was kind of like I was making my own little money. I even put roots at the bottom of that thing and in the roots. They're all kind of shaded in except for certain ones that spell out all evil because, you know, money is the root of all evil. Um, just like weird, you know, this is a bajillion years ago, super cheesy sounding now. But uh, I even put a little pyramid down in the bottom. He's in the corner. So there's a lot of neat little 
hidden things in here. And some of you might have actually received stickers, if you own any of my artwork or something, with this on it. So that's kind of what is behind that. If you have one of those stickers or anything, that's just what goes, you know, that's the story of this the first piece. Now, part of why it's important to me is because it's one of the first pieces of artwork I had done since high school. Like, I, you know, left high school, didn't do art for a while, and I won some awards in high school and everything, and it was cool, and I was, you know, punk and all this stuff, and F this and do that, and all the, you know, I, was, I had a bad attitude. Um, smart attitude, but a bad attitude. And I hadn't touched art in a long time. It was more music. It was more hanging out in the music scene, punk bands, all that stuff. So it was kind of cool to get back into art and be the first thing that I had done in six years. The first thing I'd created was actually this, and I found it to be really, really beautiful, and I really like it a lot. And it kind of like was the turning around for me. It was that moment where I was like, Ugh, I'm like trying to get out of this money hole that I'm in. And the hands aren't part of it. Those are something I added in later when I framed the whole thing together. I put the hands in there just because uh, there were another sketch I did at another time. But, um, you know, I was trying to get out of this whole money hole, and this was like the thing that inspired me. So I called it Digging Free From Your Grave, Unearthing Inspiration, because it's kind of what it was for me. I was digging, trying to dig my way out of that hole that was just killing me. But in the meantime, I found that I was like, you know what, I should do art. I haven't done art in a while. Like, why? I should do this. This is something I should do every once in a while. So it's kind of it's the piece that got me started, and I kind of wanted just to share that with you guys, let you know what that is all about, because I don't really like talk about this stuff very often. I don't get the chance to share it with people. Uh, the people that I know personally already heard the story; they already know that. So I like to just give a little piece of myself and tell you guys part of my story, and uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Like, is this something you'd be interested in getting a print of? Somebody want to buy the original? That'd be kind of cool if anybody wanted to buy the original. Um, I mean, this is like hand drawn with ink. Oh, and the best part, the ink, the pen that I found, like after the fact, once I did it, um, I had one of those stupid short term loan things through like Money Tree, because that's all I could get was a crap little, you know, horrible high interest rate, terrible, just stupid, don't ever do those uh, short term loans. And so the pen that I found that I would, had done this in was a Money Tree pen. And that was part of like the problem it was like I had to borrow money short term to pay off bills because everyone just bailed on me all of a sudden. So it was tough. It was all this, you know, compounding just money ruined my life. So that's kind of like it all just came together when I saw that pen said money tree and I was like, ah, darn you. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing more on all the other different art pieces that I've got around my house because I need to get rid of them. I need to move them. If you're at all interested in a print or anything like this, I have it actually in multiple colors that I can print it out in. Um, green, purple, if you like the blue, like the original, like it was done in blue ink. That's cool, I can do a green one, it looks more like money. Whatever, leave it down in the comments below. Guys, I love you so much, let me know if you want to see more of my personal story, because I kind of like sharing it with you and I don't get to do it that often. Ugh, and that's why, because I've dropped stuff. But, I like it, I, I think it's really cool to be able to just connect with more of you more personally, and now that my channel's starting to grow and get that ball rolling a little bit, there's more new faces, more new people who are interested. And I love it when you guys, you know, comment. I've started to, you know, I learn who's who, and I kind of am learning more about you guys by the way you comment and what you guys say, and we're becoming friends on Facebook, and we're starting to build this really cool, like, Dano channel family, and I really like it, so I kind of want to take more of myself and share it with you guys. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>